Hi everyone, I'm John and I'll be sharing with you our latest research on using hippocampal replay for learning. Traditional reinforcement learning agents use reward as the main signal and hence do not perform well for sparse reward settings. Go Explore manages to bypass this by using the external memory to update states. There are two phases in Go Explore. The first phase is the Go phase, where we jump probabilistically to that state. And then we have the Explore phase, where we then explore from that state. However, using random exploration may be inefficient. Hence, we propose to use a more deterministic equation to balance between explore and exploit. So this balances between the reward that an agent gets, as well as exploration, where we select states that are not selected or visited as often more. We also prioritize states with greater number of moves, which means that they have a higher chance of being at the exploration frontier. How do we then update this memory? For every state we visit, we initialize it with the trajectory of actions to reach it, the number of moves to reach it, the reward, the number of selections in the go phase and the number of visits in the explore phase. And we also increment this selection and visit counts upon every selection or visit accordingly. In order to update the next state, we update their memory if the current trajectory has a higher reward or has the same reward, but with a shorter trajectory. This ensures that we only store the most performant trajectories in memory. Our algorithm is heavily inspired from hippocampal replay in mice. There are two phases to it. The first phase is the pre-play, pre where we retrieve states along this successful trajectory. Then we have the replay to then reset this state selection and visit counts to zero in order to encourage more exploration in the future. We also use this replay to update intrinsic rewards, which can lead to better performance. This is an illustration of the exploration highway. The red color arrows indicate the discovered path, and we basically align this discovered path to be that of a high value state in order to encourage more exploration in the explore exploit equation. Overall, these are our results. We show that our count based approaches, go explore count and explore count, perform better than vanilla go explore. Also, hippocampal replay leads to more consistent performance which is shown as a higher solve rate, as well as less exploration because we need more steps to solve it. This means that hippocampal replay can help us to find better solutions while still maintaining a high success rate. Thank you.